Hey, what's going on, guys? We're good, and welcome back to another episode of this F1 2021 My Team Career Mode. Last race at Silverstone, our home Grand Prix. It did not go well. Another DNF. That is our second DNF of the season. And just as I started to use manual gears as well. Now, um, just to give you um, an update on the manual gear situation, um, I'm going to keep it. But I'm going to just lower the difficulty back to a 102 as well. Um, and so I'm used to it. And then once I start overperforming in the car, I'll up it to a 105. Um, so, yeah, hopefully that's okay with you guys at home. Um, it's just to help me out. Um, you know, it's the first time using manual gears. But, uh, yeah, today we've got the Hungarian Grand Prix. And, uh, yeah it's it's kind of it, it doesn't feel like a good day I'll, I'll be completely honest you know it's it's sad of what happened and look at that we get no resource points again but uh yeah our durability department needs to start working overtime i think but for now we're just going to leave it till next season like i said um early uh, either yes uh either last episode or the episode before Oh, yeah, it's kind of demoralising, I'll be honest. But, you know, these things happen in, in, in Formula 1. And there's not a lot we can do about it. We just have to get on with it. And just, uh, yeah, just hope for the best, really. So, just looking through some of the upgrades that I could do. Um, don't really need to do that. It is mainly the chassis that we need to really think about working on and we can either go for the engine cover or that the engine cover would be a lot better but that's weight distribution it's telling me to go for that one so 2nd of August we'll, we'll rush it see what happens see if we can get that um, first time round but uh, we've got powertrain department event. Could you take a look at this for us, please? And, and yeah, we might as well increase the morale. And we can manage sponsors. Yes, this is actually perfect because the sponsor we got is all good at qualifying arrival, but we can't do that at the moment. Which kind of sucks at the moment. Um, eventually, we should be able to get there. So let's take a look. We could go for Zainetto. Actually, that could be the best one for us. Uh, actually, let's take a look at the weekly income. Earn drive of the day. That is definitely doable. Beat your average in race. I'm probably going to go for Savant. Yeah, let's go for Savant. Or Savant, however you want to say. Uh, we've got four and a half million in the kitty but like I say I'm going to save it because next episode we can either re-sign Jack Aitken or look at signing someone else and uh, I'm hoping that we're going to have enough to get Jensen Button I know it's somewhat unrealistic but I'm going to do it I think for us that would be an amazing investment to get him in so uh, yeah and we've we had some, some R&D failures some you love to we see to it team, what do we, develop via the and we haven't got enough points to get that done yet this is not going well oh boy oh boy oh boy I know we were expecting Ooh. some new developments so yeah we, we should actually be able to um, we, we should team, be able to get a uh, good old Jensen Button into the team. And only 550. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude? Okay. So, you know what, actually? We're going to go for the rear wing update, upgrade, shall I say. And that is pretty much. Oh, I, no, no, maybe not. Durability department event. We'd like your input on. Yes. Thanks. I appreciate you taking the time to help out. 
that gives us I didn't actually look at the other one but we're going to take that one but uh, yeah that's all we're going to do for now and like I say next episode I'm just going to save as much money as I can in fact uh, need to still put on the uh, new things uh, new sponsors but uh, yeah I'm going to head up to, into practice but I will see you for Q1 and uh, yeah let's hope for a good weekend yeah Right then, so the first lap of Q1 as per usual as well, um, well say as per usual, we are still using manual gears um, and the AI is still at 102, um, yeah this track's quite difficult um, for me personally, um, I didn't have the best of self as you can see um, and also as well as you can tell the video is quite short. Um, no retirements, I'm going to put that out, we didn't retire or anything, but uh, it was a very, very just lacklustre race, um, so I've done my best to try and give as much footage as possible, but we're going to come across the line now, and we've set an okay time of a 1.15.4, and um, yeah, coming around the final corner of um, our final run, and uh, gained a little bit of time through the final corner, but uh, it wasn't a lot. And uh, unfortunately, it's not going to see us into Q2. Uh, we are all the way down in P19. Still ahead of our teammate, which is good. But uh, yeah, we've got some making up to do if we want to finish in the points. It's going to be tough. But uh, yeah, not the greatest of qualifying sessions, I'll be honest. But let's see what we can do. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. You won't be starting at the front of the pack. Are you worried? It must be incredibly frustrating to not make it to the end of a race due to car issues. What went wrong out there? Appreciate your time. It's race day in Budapest as we get ready for another round of the Formula One World Championship. We don't expect too many retirements at this track. There are plenty of current and former drivers with flawless finish rates here. In particular, Ralf Schumacher. He made it across the line in all 10 of his Hungarian Grand Prix starts. 14 corners then for our drivers to navigate at the 2.7 mile Hungaro ring today. It's six lefts and eight rights around a lap here with average speeds in the region of 120 miles per hour. Anthony Davidson, a very warm welcome to you as you join me in the commentary box for today's event. Let me ask you about Aston Martin. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Leclerc, Norris, Sergio Perez and Ricardo, Verstappen, Vettel, Stroll and Carlos Sainz, Fernando Alonso, Gasly, Yuki Tsunoda and Ocon, Russell, Giovinazzi, Kimi Raikkonen and Mick Schumacher, the rookie Latifi, Mazepin and Jack Aitken. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. So here we are then, we're on the grid for the Hungarian Grand Prix and in real life at the day I'm recording this, the Hungarian Grand Prix um, is going to start today so uh, that that that's how far behind well that's how much i've recorded in advance but anyway four five red lights are out and lights out and away we go and we get a actually a very good start as we get into p17 so our start even using manual gears is actually pretty damn good as we barrel into the first corner it seems like everyone has gotten away fairly well as we're going to hang it around the outside of turn one 
as we get a little bit waywards there on the exit like i say my setup it didn't feel very stable so i might have to go into time trial a bit more and look at getting some more setups for the future but uh obviously we're still need a performance patch and uh, i'm looking forward to imola portimao and Jeddah. and then once they've arrived i'll make sure they are on the calendar for one of the seasons but uh yeah decent start we are up into p17 so we've made up one position now as uh we are going no i thought we were going side by side with someone then but we're not <laughs> as uh oh look at that mick schumacher's gonna look gonna make a move down there around the outside and we just about hold on to p17 of course we are the main uh, fight the main people that we're fighting um, are those in the Haas and the Alfa Romeos but uh, yeah oh Mick Schumacher gets a little bit of a dodgy exit there as we come around the final corner and uh, we're going to look to possibly make a move on Antonio Giovinazzi here as we're going to stay on the uh, replay camera as we're going to go for a massive dive bomb down the inside can we make it yes we do and we're now up into P16 as we get a bit wayward again but there we go then p16 on to lap seven then and uh yeah this is what i mean we are kind of in like on our own yes we've got those behind us but they're not catching up and those in front of us we're not catching up to them and uh yeah it's it's kind of it was that way for the whole race as you can see look lap 15 and uh <laughs> Yeah, we are up into P9, but that's because those ahead of us did pit. And uh, our pit stop was, I think, either this lap or the next lap. I mean, I'm the one that edited the video, so I should know. But it's been a couple of days since I was actually on F1. So watching this is kind of like new to me as well. We as uh, Verstappen just breezes past us to take P9. Well, uh, yeah, obviously we know that we're not going to be as quick as Red Bull this season. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. You know, it, it's a long. It's going to be a long season. But uh, ooh, <laughs> we don't take that uh, the pit entry very well, do we? But so here we go then. Into the pits we go. We're going to go onto the hard tyres to the end of the race. Um, strategies are a little bit horrible this year. The very lot of medium to hards. Don't really see that many soft to mediums. But. Uh, I think maybe once we get faster, we can start doing a two-stop strategy and feel more confident in getting points. Up to speed now. Let's get some but uh, here we go then. On lap 17, we're now down to P19. And uh, yeah, it's got to try and warm these tyres up. Of course, uh, in the Royal Life Grand Prix, obviously, you, by now you guys would have known who won. But uh, yeah, it kind of uh, seems very difficult to warm up these tyres for some reason this year. And then once they are warmed up, as uh, Pierre Gasly is out of the session, we almost spin it as well, but thankfully we just cut away in time. As, uh, yeah, Pierre Gasly with a uh, engine failure then. But, uh, yeah, it's a, it was a very boring race, I'll, I'll be honest, you know. I'm not going to drag these, if the race itself is boring and nothing happens, I'll show you bits of it as we uh, almost lose it there. But, um, yeah, if the race is boring and there's no overtakes, I'm not going to drag it out to 30, 40 minutes, so don't worry about that. And uh, <laughs> my point exactly here, look, we're, we're in P14. That's because those ahead of us pitted again. So we set a green sector one there, but yeah, lap 31 was still in P14. We're in, we're literally on our own. 12 seconds ahead of us is Ocon. Four seconds behind us is Russell and Giovinazzi, so... Yeah, it. I'll be honest, it wasn't a fun race. It was very, very boring. But uh, I think that's where the performances of this car at the moment, you know, it's it's not fast enough to go for points just yet, but it's not slow enough to be at the back of the grid. So, which kind of sucks. Like, I want to be able to fight as a Bottas wins the race. So, yeah, we've got a lonely end of the race here as we're on our own. Uh, I, I, to be fair though, I've, whilst over the over the past year or so I've started to enjoy Hungary a little bit more, 
it's still not my favourite track. It is Monaco Without the Walls. And uh, yeah, this year as well, especially with the curbs. I mean, that inside curb there has always been quite brutal, but the curbs this year are just horrible. But uh, I'm, I mean, I'm getting used to knowing where to put the car and, and that, especially through here as well. You know, it's so easy to spin it. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to manual gears now. And uh, being able to finish a race, a 50% race with manual gears is actually pretty damn cool. So it makes me feel good inside. But uh, yeah, coming around to the uh, penultimate corner now. We are going to be finishing in P14. But uh, yeah, like I say, a bit of a boring race. But oh well, it is what it is. As uh, we're going to come across the line and we are going to finish in P14. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. There'll be smiles back at the factory after that one. A great race and a real team performance to take victory here in Hungary. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. So yeah, congratulations to Bottas, Leclerc and Hamilton. Leclerc actually get on the podium, so a very good job from him um, helping the Ferrari team. Uh, Landon Norris in P4, he's been having a good season. Um, his teammate, though, Daniel Ricciardo, not a very good race, uh, finishing in P12. We finish in P14, so not too bad from us. And then Jack Aitken in 21st. Uh, the driver standing is uh, Lewis Hamilton, still at the top with... Uh, Bottas just behind him. Lando Norris and Max Verstappen are tied on points, I think that was. Um, we're still in... Well, we're down to P15 now. Uh, Ferrari, after a good weekend, they have gone up to P4. But Mercedes are still um, really pushing for uh, another driver's... Well, for another Constructors' Championship. And uh, yeah, McLaren in P2, so good job from them. But uh, that's going to be the end of today's episode. I do apologise, it's short. Um, unfortunately there's not much I can do regarding the highlights, there wasn't a lot um, so I was like you know what, we'll just cut it down as much as possible but uh, yeah that's going to do it for today's episode but thank you very much for watching, if you enjoyed this uh, episode, drop a like if you want, uh, subscribe as well we are starting to get close to 500 subscribers so see if we can hit that by the end of the year and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time for the uh, I think it's the Belgian Grand Prix I should know because I've already recorded it I don't know. Right. See you later, guys.